Hello everyone, this is Gurtek and I welcome you all to my new channel. These days there are phones everywhere, it is literally raining cats and dogs. Meanwhile, it's time I review official Nougat update for Galaxy S7. Starting with the always on display, the support for third party notifications are here. Giving a quick glance to the lock screen, the layout seems familiar, however, the notification settings are improved. Along with it, provision of quick shot or to Sammy's fingerprint scanner is given. Although it was quite fast in Marshmallow, but after this update, oh sweet lord, it's now sweeter with superior accuracy. The home screen is pretty familiar with some neat touch-ups like these refined icons. The phone also gets a new 3D touch-like feature. The inbuilt messaging and calendar applications are brushed up with a kiss of vanilla. Camera app of the phone gets set up of the likes of Note 7 with left and right swipes leading to various filters and modes whereas the upward and downward swipes help switch between front and rear camera. As per my experience with the update so far, the SDR modes seem much improved over the last version. The notification panel has had a complete makeover with features flaunting nougat-like appearance. A quick shout out to this blue and white theme which reminds us of the ever so catastrophic Note 7. Quick toggle icons look pretty neat and they can also be adjusted to different grid sizes. The blue light filter and performance modes have been added with easy accessibility. The quick reply system has been redone which helps the user to reply to a particular email from the notification panel itself without having the need to visit the app, thus saving lots of time. Voila! Settings app looks pretty familiar to Note 7. In display settings, we get the blue light filter as a new addition and in screen mode, we get to manually adjust the color balance. So cool, na? Huh? One of my personal favorite from Note 7 has made it here also. We can adjust the screen resolution to three different specifications, HD, Full HD and QHD. This particular feature greatly improves the battery of the device. As far as the device maintenance is concerned, Samsung has included a device maintenance app which cleans the junk and optimizes the UI. With the new update, we get the 15 GB storage on Samsung Cloud. So this was the review of the Galaxy S7 update and we can happily say to the customers that gone are the days of the childlike appearance of touch UI and now we can gracefully welcome the new neat highly rewarding Grace UX and Sam is moving in the right direction with its new UI. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video make sure to subscribe and comment down below. Peace out.